we somehow interchangeably use the words percent and percentage. And some people think that percent is short for percentage. But these words are quite different. And just like pound is a unit of weight, percent is a unit of percentage. Now, if you look at the origin of the word percent, it means for each hundred. So, for example, 30% can be written with a percent symbol, and it means 30 for each hundred. So, 30% is same as 30 out of 100, or 30 over 100, which is same as 0.3. Therefore, if you want to change x% percent into a number, you just divide that number by 100. And reversely speaking, if you have a number, and if you want to change that number to percent, you just multiply that by 100. This is what you already know, but let's practice with some examples before we challenge some problems. On the very last lesson under this second category, Equations and Inequalities, I will have a thorough session on how to translate English into mathematical expressions. But for percentage, I took the whole section out of that and I'm giving them to you earlier. So this is how you make an equation with word problems involving percentage. If the question is, what is 20% of 50? The word what will be translated into x and is will be equals. And of means multiplication. So we have an equation like this. Since 20% is 0.2 in number, the answer is 10. If the question is 30% of what is 240, then we have 0.3x equals 240, and x is 800. If the question is what percent of 60 is 33, we have this equation. And changing x% percent into a number by dividing 100, we have this. And after transposing 60 and 100 to the right, we have x equals 55. Now, this is the type of a question that you will definitely see on SAT Math. Kelly deposits 100 in the savings account. If the interest rate is 7% annual, how much money does she have at the end of the year? Well, she originally has $100, and 7% of 100 is added to that as an interest. So you change 7% into 0.07, and you can combine with 100 like this, and it becomes 100 times 1.07, which is 107. Now, there is a good reason why I'm showing you all these steps. This is what I'll be jumping onto without going through the previous steps when I solve problems later. So when you accrue 7% on $100, for example, the new amount will be 100 times 1.07 directly. Okay, And let's do this problem. Esther bought a bicycle at a 20% discounted price. If the original price was $250, how much did she pay? Now, the original price was $250, and 20% of that is subtracted. So after changing 20% to 0.2 and combining with 250, we have 200. Again, the reason I'm showing you all these steps is because I'll be jumping onto this without going through the previous steps when I solve problems later. So when you discount 20% off 250, you pay 80%. So you calculate 250 times 0.8 directly. Okay? Let's practice what we just learned with the following two problems. A store sells a certain item for $120, and it is 20% discounted, and then it goes up 30% from the discounted price. What is the new price after these two price changes? Then 120 times 0.8 gives you the discounted price. And it goes up 30% from this new discounted price. So we have this whole thing times 1.3. So the new price after two price changes is $124.80. Let's look at this question. A store sells a certain item for $120. The price goes up 30%, and then it is 20% discounted from the raised price. 
what's the new price after these two price changes. Well, the only difference in this problem is the order is switched. We have a price increase and then a price discount. So 120 times 1.3 gives you the raised price and then it is 20% discounted off this raised price. So you multiply this whole thing by 0.8 and we have $124.80. Notice here that we have the same result. The order of discount and raise does not matter for the final price. At last, let me talk about the definition of the percent change. Well, percent change tells you how much has changed compared to the number before the change. And it is defined to be the difference between the new number and the old number divided by the old number multiplied by 100. Here, the crucial part of the definition is this old number in the denominator. Please do not use the new number in the denominator, okay? If the new number is bigger than the old number, you will have a positive percent change, which means percent increase. If the new number is smaller than the old number, you will have a negative percent change, which means percent decrease. Well, let me give you an example. An item in the store sells for $50. Today, the store runs a special on this item and sells for $30. What percent discount is it? Well, here in this problem, old number is 50 and new number is 30. So we have negative 40%, which means 40% discount. Now let's solve some problems. And by doing so, everything that I mentioned in this lesson will be completely clarified.